Nerdy Scribbler. Hello and welcome back to the Nerdy Scribbler. As always, I'm your host, Anthony D'Elia. Today I will be finishing the Inktober Challenge. If you like what you see here today, consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a like. But for now, stay tuned for your Nerdy Scribbler's Scribble Session. So this is the third part in the Inktober series and the Halloween short stories. You can click the card above to check out the other two parts if you missed them. But anyway, on to the stories. First up, we have Drain. The milk toast man had just gotten back from a hard day at work. He really needed his rest. He sat down in his favorite chair and closed his eyes. From within the shadow, a vampire snuck up behind him. He bared his fangs, licked his lips, and drank from the man's neck with his favorite bendy straw. The man awoke the next morning feeling more tired than when he got home. Next up is expensive. Everyone was raving about the new restaurant that opened up. The food was delicious, the atmosphere was worth every cent, but the portions would leave you wanting more. You'd always want more. You would pay for more. Just look at this thing. It tastes so good, right? Sure, it costs a hundred dollars, but what is money when you could have another order or two? Next is Muddy. The swamp muck gurgled. Trees shook and the wind howled. From deep beneath the murky waters rose a massive mud monster. Combined with the power of its darkened home, the creature took to the surface world. It was ready to cause a ruckus and drag weaklings down into its slimy home. It lurched forward and moved slowly until it disappeared into the fog. Next is Chop. The butcher carved his blade, sharpening it until it could slice through the toughest skins. Each swing of his blade ended with a severe thwack. Blood ran down the side of the table. Cries were heard. The ham had been chopped so nicely, dinner was served. Now we have Prickly. The lone cactus stood tall, for it was one that loved all. The lone cactus held a sign. The words upon it were divine. The lone cactus needed a friend. Alone it remained until the end. The lone cactus offered hugs, to which it met with shrugs. The lone cactus began to weep, until it embraced its eternal sleep. Next up is Stretch. The little cat strolled through the streets causing mischief this Halloween night. It would sneak up and meow loudly, startling young trick-or-treaters. It ran and played all night long. The little tyke was all tuckered out by the end of the holiday. Stopping in front of a light post, it stretched ready to go to sleep. But its shadow revealed its true intent, for its dreams would be filled with malice. Next is Thunder. The little shadow had finally left the Dark Realm to dwell with mortals. The Dark Realm had no light, no smells, no sound. The little shadow was happy to see and experience so many different senses it never knew it had. It climbed to the top of the hill and saw lightning streak across the sky. Its eyes lit up. Almost immediately after, it heard a large thunderclap. Its ears rang. Then it was struck by lightning. Everything lit up. Now we have Gift. A strange wrapped present sat at the doorstep. The grumpy man threw it in the trash, never even opening it. After returning home from the dumpster, the strange wrapped Gift sat in the living room. He threw that one out too. When he returned home, the strange wrapped Gift sat on his bed. He scoured the house for any more gifts before throwing this one out. When none were found, he returned to get the gift. It was no longer on his bed. He searched everywhere, but could not find the gift. Had he imagined the whole thing? He left his house to go get dinner. As he passed by the dumpster, there sat the gift with its lid popped open. Its contents smiled at him. His body was later found in the dumpster. Now we have Double. Dr. Harland Crane joined the townsfolk of Newtown on their hunt for the Blood Wolf. They had done several hunts before, but this one was different. It was a blood moon. Surely the beast would come out during a night as dreadful as this. Crane left the group for he feared for his life. He wanted no part in this fight. When the moon became a disgusting red color, he transformed into the blood wolf. The beast howled and roared, setting off for the group. Its ferocity was astounding. Next is Jolt. The little boy had a long day. As he went off to bed, he recollected all of the events that he got to do thanks to his Jolt Soda. It was fun being able to complete so many activities in one day. As his sleep became deeper, he started to have dreams of his beloved soda and the energy it gave him. He jolted awake, but how could this be? Did the jolt have an effect of waking him up every time he thought of it? He tried to sleep again, but awoke by the same dream. The bags under his eyes got bigger every day, for sleep was the only thing that he longed for. Finally, we have Slice. The samurai drew his blade. This would surely be a worthy opponent. 
Four slices, he thought. It would only take four slices to defeat this foe and call it a night. He heightened his focus, slowed his breathing. The air was still. The night was quiet. Time stopped for what felt like forever. Before his opponent could make a move, he darted across the battlefield and swung his sword the same number of times as he had predicted. The pumpkin he hit spun around and revealed a carved jack-o'-lantern. He quietly said to the pumpkin, Happy Halloween. And that ends today's video and another completed art challenge. If you like what you've seen here, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to stay up to date on all Nerdy Scribbler content. Also, if you really want to help me grow as an artist, you can follow me on Patreon. My question for the day is, what are you going to be for Halloween? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, my scribblings.